Hey guys, welcome back. Check out this video on owning paid off real estate. If you're gonna own real estate, I want you to think about this question. What's the end game, bro? Why do you wanna do this? I asked someone the other day, why do you wanna own rental property? Why do you wanna own more than 10 rental property? You know what they say? No answer. Because most of the time, people have no idea why they want to own that many doors. Because let me tell you something. Most average people, 10 to 15 grand a cost to live. If you had five rental property paid off at $3,000 each, you're set for life. You don't need more than five to live a good life. Anything beyond that is just bonus money. But everybody get caught up, go to seminar, they go, I got to get 100 doors. You don't need 100 goddamn doors to live a good life. You have five or 10 paid off, you be living good. And that's real. And you don't need no investor to do it. No headache. Call simplicity. All right, Kirby, you actually started off paying off real estate this way. You started off buying cash for properties, renting out properties. And I've heard a little bit on, you know, obviously it's more easygoing or less of a headache to pay off properties. It might not be easy to acquire the capital to do so but you were savvy enough to know to look for deals and in a uh, stressed environment, a stressed uh, financial crisis, basically, and acquire those properties for cash. Now, my question to you is, how accurate do you see what this guy is saying? Because I also know that you proceeded to acquire more and more and more properties. And now you're starting to take the finance route to acquire these properties as well. Well, he he spot on. He spot on. Uh, the first, I want to say five deals that I did, I paid cash for the properties. And then as we listen to this video, I'm just trying to do quick math in my head. I'm doing quick math in my head. The first five properties that's paid off, they bring in about 10, 10 to $12,000 a month. So he's 100% correct. If you have five properties and they're paid off five to 10 properties that's paid off. You're living a good life. I mean, my cost to live, just actually live due to basic necessities and things like that cost me 2000 to $2,500 a month. And, and that $2,500 a month, that's including investing into my son's uh, retirement account that he's 10 years old and put money away, uh, saving money. That's $2,500 a month. So if I'm making ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month, then all that's extra that I could do whatever the hell I want with. Um, so he's one hundred percent correct that you don't need a uh, a thousand doors, a hundred doors, or anything like that. I mean, it is extra, and the people that go for that, some people do it as a uh, you know bravado thing to say, "Oh, I got five hundred doors, or I got a thousand doors, or I got twelve thousand doors." But their lifestyle, I mean, just having a normal civil lifestyle, you don't need that. For those five properties that I have that's paid off, it gives me the ability that I could travel every month. I can go do something with the family, go on vacation every month and what have you. But again, my goal is, and the reason why I keep going past that goal and striving for more is because my goal is to build this up so my kids, kids, kids can still eat off the money after the fact. It's not about me. I mean, the retirement money, the investment money I have in stocks and retirement accounts and pensions and things like that, that would that would cover my lifestyle easy. But I'm not having, I don't want nobody in my family tree after me and my lineage to have to start where I started off at zero. So that's the reason why I go for. But five, then that's what I always tell people. I just had a conversation with people the uh, other day I said, if you're going to get a rental property, if your plan is to get one, if the goal is not to get five, don't get one. Just go find something else to do. Go, I don't know, go play lottery or something. Because with one, you're not going to, the juice is not worth the squeeze. But once you hit to that five, that five mark, and especially with them paying down the debt, and then you're increasing the rent, and then eventually it's being paid off, you'll be good to go. Yeah, that, I like that answer too. Um, you know, having that purpose or knowing what your purpose is, is as far as continuing to acquire deals and expand your real estate portfolio. Um, because, yeah, it, I mean, it's a valid question. I mean, why would you keep going above and beyond what you need 
And there should be a deeper answer to that question. You know, it should be something like you're trying to create generational wealth. Um, really, I think Kirby's just trying to conquer the world, but yeah, <laughs> maybe he will get yeah. there. Um, but no, um, no, that's that's definitely something that like as individuals or real estate investors personally should ask themselves as to why do they keep acquiring? I mean, because you hear of real estate investors that have, you know, Robert Kiyosaki, I think he mentioned 11,000 units. Um, but his purpose is different. His purpose is financial education, teaching the world and creating a, a footprint almost, you know, on this world, which, you know, to make a difference, you got to go and take an extreme route. But um, but yeah, I, I figured this video was pretty accurate. I mean, what he says makes complete sense. I mean, uh, in, especially going to what you've said before, you know, if you can't live off of twenty thousand dollars a month, then shame on you. You know, it's going back to what this right. guy is saying. You know, if you have five properties that are paid off, they may not get you three thousand dollars a month, but probably in the two to three thousand dollar range. And still, that's ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month. If you got ten of them, that's, you know, now you're looking at thirty thousand, twenty thousand dollars a month. So if you can't live off of that, then yeah, definitely shame on you. Um, All right, and it'd be it'd be some people out there that say, well, well, I can't live off twenty five hundred dollars a month where I'm at. Yeah, that's that's true. And I'm talking about for the mat the mass majority of people. The mass majority of people don't live in California, don't live in New York, don't live in Hawaii, you know, those coastal, those coastal places. Um, but I always tell those people, if you can't afford, if you make it five to $10,000 a month and you can't afford to live where you're at, you need to move because you can get rental properties anywhere. You can, if you want to get rental properties in California, that's fine, but that, that don't mean you have to live there. That's it. I mean, people, people want, they want their cake and eat it too. They want to, they want, Hey, I want to make a million dollars. Plus I want to be able to spend a million dollars while living in here in California. If it ain't possible, then it ain't possible. You gotta, it's okay to change your life. You, if you go live somewhere, I'm just going to pick one of the cheapest states. I know if you would choose to go live in Arkansas, but you got 10, $15,000 a month coming in from rental property, you can live in Arkansas. You go visit California every month if you want to. But you don't have that obligation of the California, the New York rents or mortgages or taxes and things like that. You can choose where you want to live. You're not forced to live there. This is not a dictatorship to say, oh, I have to live here. And I know people will say, well, my family grew up here and all that. That don't, that don't matter to me. My family grew up in Detroit, Michigan. I ain't lived there in 20 years. It, it don't matter. If I want to go see them, I can get on a plane and go see them. When I don't want to go see them, I don't go get on a plane and see them. But I'm not forcing myself to live anywhere where I know it's not beneficial for me, financially beneficial for me or my family. And that's the name of the game. But all those rentals, all that, all that stuff you see on social media saying you need 50, 100 doors, you need 1,000 units and all that other crap is BS. Because most people won't reach that apex of 1,000 units. Hell, I'm not even trying to sh shoot that apex. Maybe my great grandkids might do it, but I'm not trying to hit hit that number because I know 30, 50, 100 units fully paid off and the family just living off the cash flow. Generations will be fine without it. Generations will be fine just living off the cash flow, not selling properties, not acquiring more properties or whatever, just keeping those properties maintained. They're already paid off. And they can just keep living off the cash flow. I'm not trying to, well, according to Alex, I am, but I'm not trying to conquer the world. <laughs> I just want a small piece of it. And then we can go from there. <laughs> so that being said, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button. Uh, leave us a comment down below what your thoughts are on this video. Share this video, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one.